well it's raining and so kind of found something to do inside the shop um my engine shock absorber uh mounts or toast or uh they, well both of mine were toast and one was good in my parts car and so i put that one on uh the shock absorbers are not in that best of shape either uh, this one of them i had uh, well one of them in the parts car was stripped out down here and this one was as well and so i had to cut it off uh, to get this one off but i kind of wanted to have it hooked up and you know may not do the best but um wanted it to be able to do something and so the bottom mounts on them are just little rubber um, uh, spacers or I, I don't have one handy but um, if you've dealt with these you know that uh, what you have at the bottom is it goes through a bracket on the frame uh, with a rubber piece that has a flat washer right here and uh, and then of course then it goes through the frame then you have a rubber piece with another washer and then a nut and that's how uh, you know it it dampens on that end of it and this end it's just uh, this mount is encased in rubber and but the rubber deteriorates and they come out like this one did so what I did was I cut some pieces of rubber out of a load range E sidewall tire so it's a real thick rubber and but it's still mushy and then I took and I cut my mount off and I cut a little bit thicker than that off of it so that that makes up for the distance of uh, that see so you can see they're about the same height with the rubber piece and I welded a uh, a fender washer on it was just one that I had and so what we've got of course this you know spaced if you look that came to about right there best I can tell uh, looking at the one that's still good so it sticks out just a little bit on the bottom and so um, your shock which I'll take all this apparatus off of here so if you look at this, this is how this went, just like that, and then a nut goes on the top. And so what we've got is this, see, we need spacers. So just digging through, my, my wife needed uh, washers for a school project, and um, She's uh, the teacher, and she needed washers, and so she kind of rated my stash of washers. Um, so put one there, uh, got a nut, I mean, you could space it out with washers. That was my intention originally, but uh, you're not gonna see this. So this was a, actually a small fender washer. I drilled the center out so it fits perfectly around there. And then we put our rubber piece on good thick pliable rubber and so that makes up the distance that we're missing and then it goes through here take our other rubber spacer that we made grommet whatever we're gonna call it pretty like I said, I just took a hole saw and cut these out. Uh, this one's got a little split in it. I'll probably cut a new one. Uh, the other one's fine. I don't know. I must have got a bad spot in the rubber on this one. But um, then I just came up with a little assortment of washers. I wanted this. I wanted a washer that was big enough to... I didn't have another fender washer. So I wanted a washer that was uh, big enough to kind of take up that whole rubber piece. And then we're just adapting it up. And then that one goes there and then we'll put our nut on so i mean it's not and then we'll tighten it down 
I mean, it's it should work pretty well. Um, definitely probably not as good as the original, but it's better than not having one. And these mounts are over $100. So definitely does not seem worth it to do that. And now that I've done this to this mount, um, I can easily make more of these rubber pieces if I have to. And the rest of it should never go bad, you know? So if, you know, 10 years down the road, uh, these rubber pieces disintegrate or two years down the road, whatever, I can just cut some more pieces out or find a different kind of rubber if I need to, um, thicker kind if I need to. What uh, I thought about was um, the same rubber pieces that came out of here, but they're, um, I didn't have any very good ones um, from what I have from my cars. Uh, I put the good ones on my car. And so um, I was like, well, I'll just cut this and it'll be a little bit heavier duty rubber anyway, just to make this mount a little um, stronger. Uh, so it's not, it doesn't move around as much, but this should uh, be a semi solid mount that um, hold, should hold up well. So that's what we're gonna go with. And uh, I'll show it to you once I get it on the car. Like I said, it's raining. So I'm gonna wait till it gets a little better. I'll go out real quick though while it's raining. I, don't, I won't get too wet and just cut another one of these out since that one's got two little spots. It must've had a crack in that tire or something or I've damaged it getting it on and off. This one right here is fine. Um, but this is not the shock I'm using. The shock I'm using is on my car and it's actually stripped out down here as well. But the nut's on it and it's not wanting to come off. So we're gonna leave it on there and um, cause I don't have another good shock. Um, so yeah, it seems like a decent one, so uh, we're not going to mess with it. We're just going to put a mount on it. See down in here. It's a tight fit. There it is installed so um, what I did is um, and it is it's slightly compressing the rubber so I've got good spacing there um, what I've got is or what I did between this and this 10 millimeter I was able to get both uh, use this for the bracket and this on the um, the shock the top of the shock and not on it they're all 10 millimeters so you got you know one in the front one in the back this is the old one that was on it and where's the rubber piece this was the rubber piece that was on it you can see this thing was shot completely shot so my other one over here from the parts car is still in good shape so we're gonna leave that one like i said it's been raining so i've been trying to work um, with it raining so um in the little spots where it lets up a little bit so that should uh that should work well um the only thing is there is a little slop in the bottom bushings um but like i said that nut is stripped out i can't get it off um so it's kind of it is what it is um if i had another good shock I would just cut it off and replace it. Um, I may, I'm debating, I may order uh, two shocks for it since I've got good mounts now. Um, I may order two shocks for it. I, I really don't think it makes much of a difference. My understanding is it's supposed to help with the, the when you cut it off, the, the shake it has when you cut the engine off. Uh, not so much, you know, shaky idle or anything. So, not too concerned about that so probably leave it like it is but yeah you never know so if your mounts are bad you can try something like that i've also heard of people uh scraping out all the rubber filling it with uh polyurethane you could do that i didn't have any and if i had some i had to wait for it set up so it seemed like a quick and simple thing snip it off 
uh, weld a washer on it. It was all stuff I had, so to me it was it was kind of a free free fix. And you know, two rubber grommets from a uh, made out of a tire sidewall. Like I said, I went and cut another one. Uh, it was a load range E tire. Just an old tire I had sitting here. Like I said, I ended up making another one because that one was split in it. You can see there's where I cut the holes, just a normal hole saw that put me a center hole in it, which was happened to be the right size. And the out, you know, the diameter of the rubber was the right size for what I needed. So worked out well, and I think I think it'll do a good job. If and, you know, to me, if Mercedes thought it was good enough to do the bottom mount that way, it's probably good enough to do the top mount that way. So. That's it. Thanks for watching. Leave a comment down below. Hit the like button and subscribe for more.